For six weeks, in partnership with Morrison's, each Thursday we're uploading a new recipe to the Emotion Cookbook. Today we are making this delicious key lime pie with a ginger nut biscuit base, a zingy lime filling and a crispy meringue top. Yes, hello everyone, welcome to my Emotion Kitchen. Why is it called that Mrs Barry? Because we are doing the Morrison's Emotion Cookbook. Yes, and today's emotion is... Adventure. Adventure. And boy, have we had some adventures in our time together. Have we? we? Have. Yes, I, yes. I hope so. <laughs> uh, one, mostly over the pond in the US of A. They have been. Yes. Uh, so this is a caricature that we had made in Boston. You can see it's got like, very manly, masculine yes. features. And look how young we look. Yeah, we were young. This was done a <laughs> long time ago. So while we're also out in Boston, in fact, let's get rid of this. Yeah. Don't, people don't really need to see that so don't much. Don't see it anymore. We discovered an absolutely gorgeous dessert. And what was that? It was key lime pie. Oh. But we've got to do our own little twist on it, right? We have. So it's going to have a ginger biscuit crust, a little bit of tang in there, and then a meringue topping instead of the cream. You're going to absolutely love this. Should we do it? Yes, let's do this. All right, adventure times. So here are all the ingredients you need in their glory. If you want to have a go, hit pause now, write them down, and get in that kitchen. So we need to whiz up our lovely ginger nut biscuits. I've got a food processor here. I'm going to put them in. If you haven't got a food processor, you could use a Ziploc bag and a rolling pin and just bash the bash biscuits. My step's quite easy for this, all I get to do is melt butter. Yeah, you can just stand and watch, yeah. and I'll do the whizzing. So I'm just going to pour the biscuits into a bowl, and keep on whizzing. Add the melted butter, stir it through then, and that's going to help to make our crust. Yes. Push that crust mixture in first of all. Going to leave a little bit at the moment, flatten it out a little bit. Use clean hands and just press and then you get your outer edge. Looking good. Looking amazing. Make well sure done. you get a real good firm crust all around the yes. outer edge. We are going to yeah. bake it in our gorgeous oven. Uh, it's preheated to 160C and a standard oven. So 140 if you've got a fan. So in that goes and we can start to get our things together for our filling. First step is cracking our eggs. We're going to need both parts of the eggs. We just crack open the egg and oh. just carefully pass the yolk between the shell. Egg, egg yolk goes into this bowl. There you go. I'm going to wrap these egg whites in cling film because we're going to use them later for our meringue topping. But I'm terrible with cling film, so it's oh, been yeah, taking you me quite are, a while. Yeah. Let me do it. Otherwise, we'll have no cling film left. No, that's true. It'll just be like. <laughs> there we go. All right. Stick them in the fridge because we're going to need yeah. them in an hour's time. So, can you whip up these egg yolks? I can. Give it a real good beat together for about a minute. You want to get it nice and smooth. Hopefully, you can see the volume is starting to increase a little bit, expand, and it's getting slightly paler. That is what we're looking for. There we go. That's perfect. Looking good. Uh, yes. This is a tin, or it was a tin, of condensed milk that we poured into a jug to make it easier to pour. I'm going to give it another whiz. This time we're going to keep going for about three minutes. I think that's done, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, she has driven it's air nice bubbles into bit. that. I've got my citrus station to one side. I've What's just that? invented it, right? Okay. It's basically a chopping board with some things, like including limes on, which of course, in a key lime pie, apart from keys, is mm -hmm. the most important ingredient. Don't put keys in this <laughs> pie. No, it's don't. A joke. It's a joke. Uh, so, what we're going to do first of all is zest. Oh, I can smell that already. Can you? Citrus. We are, we're on a good. tropical island. We're not in Western Supermare. We are in Barbados right now, Mr. Barry. Oh, if only. Have your lime. I'm going to get as much juice out of this as we can. So you can see why we call it the citrus station now, folks. We're in full tropical mode. I've got the zest of three limes in here. Are and you the gonna... juice of three limes there. Yeah. Whee. Lime juice right in there. And now we're going to whisk it up again. There we go, that is looking good. And it's got a slightly green colour as well, can it you has? see? It has, yeah, yeah. A little bit of an Incredible Hulk vibe going yeah, on there. Yeah, it's nice and thick. So I'm going to pour this into the jug. We're going to put it into our base now, which we've just got out of the oven. So be very careful with this. And remember, as it's loose bottomed, uh, if you hold it from the bottom, when you take it out of the oven, it's going to go poof like that. Let's get this filling into the centre of the base. So maybe uh, give it a little shimmy to help it find its way, remembering that it is red hot from yes. the oven still. <laughs> they so get you ever don't gloves. do it with your bare hands because you'll be <laughs> like Michael Jackson impression. It's hot. Back in the oven now for about 10 to 15 minutes. Smelling yes. amazing already. Can't wait to see what it comes out like. Check this out, Beck. <gasps> wow, look out at that. Oven. What That's you're looking good. for is it needs to be like that. Yeah, you don't want the middle to be wobbly. Nope. No. And if you've got any little brown marks like that, that's good because it's sort of, you know, it's baked through, but it's going to get covered uh, by the meringue anyway. So. Can't we eat it now? Well, we could, but what we're going to do is let it cool to room temperature just to okay. one side. Don't put it in your fridge yet, otherwise it will go all misty and horrible and stuff like that. Yeah. But once it's nice and room temperature and you can touch it, stick it in your fridge for at least three hours to firm up and we'll come back and work on a meringue yes, topping. Oh, that's good. Three hours later, cha-ching! 
It's that's looking that. good, right? It's set. I want to eat it as it is right now, but we're going to do that meringue topping. So we've got the egg whites from the fridge earlier that we separated from the yolks. We're going to whip them Here up. Here we go. So oh. that felt like three hours later, didn't it? That's, <laughs> that's hard work. Look how much they've grown. Oh. So what we're going to do, uh, we've got some caster sugar here. We're going to gradually add that in. A tablespoon at a time. And again, just whisk it through. Make sure it's fully dissolved in there. And just to help it stiffen a teeny bit, this is some cream of tartar. Again, just get that incorporated in. Oh, yes. I think that's done. It's looking good, but there's only one way to find out if it actually yes. is. Tip it over your head. Oh, no, it's fallen. Is it really? No. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> My wife, ladies and gentlemen. Right, okay. Let's get this on top. We're going to get the meringue mixture. Just start that's it in the middle good. and then spread it around. Get that well dolloped on there. That's looking pretty good already. And what we're going to do is use a chef's torch uh, to brown it. But if you have not got one of those, you can bake it in the oven for yeah. five minutes uh, at the same temperature that you baked uh, your case for. But you can make it slightly more uh, spiky by using a bamboo skewer. You can use one of these. So the one that we had in Boston was actually uh, like a whipped cream topping. But I really like the idea of putting a meringue on it. It's time to pull out the first wedge. Oh, here we go. It looks really good. Oh, wow. my gosh. Check that out, folks. <gasps> Look at these layers. You've got the ginger crust, the key lime filling, and of course our toasted, slightly gooey meringue topping, which is amazing. Mm. So let's place it down like so. All right, so it's time to taste it. I'm gonna take a little oh, take chunk off the front there. Oh, here we go. In fact, I'm gonna feed you. This is kind of like a look that you're not trusting me. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wow. <Well. laughs> mm. I think she's sold, right? No, it's really good. I mean, wow, really limey, enough. and the base is all gingery and sticky, Ooh. and oh, it's delicious. Mm. Really good. Mm. Mm. See? You, mm. can, you can't talk, mm. you've got to save in the mm. moment. Mm. <laughs> That's really good. I was speechless there, but the taste is phenomenal. A real it adventure is. in the it, kitchen this yeah, recipe has been. Yeah, it brought back so many memories of America, it right? It really does taste just like it, and it's so good. We really hope you give it a go. Uh, we'd also like to know what recipes mean adventure to you, so uh, leave a comment down below uh, with what recipes mean adventure, and yes. you can win a cookbook and also some Morrison's vouchers. Um, yes. We will and announce the winner. The winner will be announced on our ne the next video. Yeah, check out the Morrison's Emotion Cookbook in the link down below for more adventure recipes but give this one a go, it is a stonker. Yes. I'm taking that. <gasps> Say something. <laughs>